Soda is what we're scussing. Scussioning. Yeah. This is Soda Scussions. We came here to drink soda and punch dudes. And luckily, we've got more soda to drink. And... No! <laughs> I'm Jeff that almost got punched by Dan. I'm Dan that almost punched Jeff. Wow, look at that introduction. Yeah. Dan. Yeah. We have not had a lot of root beer on this show. Are you? We've had a little bit of a root little, beer. Not a lot. You've been inundating me with artificial fruit artificial flavors. Artificial fruit, bananas, oh, watermelons. NASCAR, that was one of them. That NASCAR was a flavor that we had. Yeah. Space. You like root beer. Oh, I love root beer. Oh, I got a surprise for you. We've often discussed <laughs> the two worlds of soda flavors. Yeah, there's there's like fruit, fruit, and like, roots. Fruit and root. Yeah. You got your your like spicy, yep. earthy, birch beer, root beer. Yep. Cream? I would say that, yeah. I would put cream in like the vanilla is a spice. It grows. It's like a little seed. Cola? Cola, I would put it there. It's a bean. Orange. Grape. <laughs> yeah. Orders. I have a surprise for you today because I'm going to say this right now, and I stand by this 100%. Frost Hop is the best root beer I've ever had in my entire life. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> so Frost Hop is like a little food stand in Huntington, West Virginia, where my life derives from. That's where our grandfather's from, Jimmy. He was born there. He was raised. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a little stand. And the first time I went there, they have like on, on right here. That's it. They they do have a giant mug of root beer that's on their roof. And I was like, that place is cool. Never had the food there. I went there and I got the root beer and I was like, this is love. This yeah. is the best soda, the best root beer I've ever had in my entire life. Every time I go there, got to go to Frost Top. Got to get the RB. Um, and one time when my wife went by herself... She came back with a gallon. It's like in a jug, like a milk jug. There was an accident, not a car accident, but a soda accident. She and pissed it, herself? It exploded oh. somehow in transit, and I was devastated. Recently, she was visiting her hometown and found these in the grocery store, and I was like, buy me a lot of Interesting them. packaging. Did not know that these exist. So she brought me home like 12 of these, and I've, I drank all 11 of them. This is the <laughs> last one. I have one more at home, actually, so I drank 10. And these I didn't know about. This is vanilla caramel cream soda and great creme brulee taste. Very, because this is my favorite soda. I'm very interested to see what this tastes like. And orange cream. Orange cream, Creamsicle. great combination. Yeah. So I kind of want to start with the root beer. Sure. I've had this. I've got I want a question you for you. Yeah. This clearly says caffeine free. Is that just what they all are? Or was I this like this a is separate caffeine one? free? Uh, so this one actually is interesting, I noticed. Carbonated water, high fructose corn sweetener, and pure cane sugar. It has both. I like that. Is it most root beer caffeine free? Yeah. I don't know. I most just noticed it. like they clearly state not on the orange, but the um, other ones are caffeine free. Also, I noticed that these bottles are very difficult to open, but like they're yeah, they got the frost top uh, insignia. These are bottled in Columbus, Ohio, so it's not bottled there. But when I had these, I was shocked at how close to like the actual stand soda. Mm. So, the draft. The draft. You love to hear it. Dan, I'm going to... Didn't I'm gonna seem difficult you, at all. I lucked out. I'm going to let you sniff it and pour it. Take a whiff of that. That's Smells good. good. If, if you think this is anything other than the best root beer you've ever had, I'm killing I mean, myself that's, that's right rough, now Jeff. in front of camera. <laughs> that's rough. Trigger warning. And look at that. I just drank it straight from the bottle. Got a nice... I haven't even poured this. Nice head to it. That does have a great head for a bottled soda. Look at that. It's like a nice, thick, dense froth. Oh, my God. It's so... So, like, anise -y. Very It smells spicy. a lot like mug of beer, as my grandmother would call it. Mug root beer. A little bit of a barks. That's that, you know, spice to it. It has bite. Yeah. Phenomenal. It's good. It's very balanced. It is. It sits like right dead in the middle of like all the different root beers. It's not. It's perfectly carbonated too. It is. It feels like the bubbles are smaller. I don't know if that's true or not, but it has like an upfront bite that just mellows out as the flavors like come out. Yeah. There's like almost not all the way there, but there's like a Pepsi nitro type of bubble to it. 
Well, it, that had no bubbles. That was flat. But but no, they they all feels, went to the surface. This feels like what it's it should smooth, have been. Yeah. yeah. So for me personally, it's not the best root beer I've ever had. I like a little bit more vanilla or cream in my root beer, but it's I very think, good. I think that this has like the perfect amount of creaminess. And I'm glad flavor. you love it, Jeff. It's great. I like it a lot too. I would drink this. It's anytime. very good. Actually, kind of reminds me of the root beer that we tasted a few episodes ago on the celery episode. What was that? Doctor Brown's. Doctor Brown's. No, that. No, this is leagues above it. I will fight you to the death if you disagree with me. <laughs> Only if we can play the song when Spock fought. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's just let's just get to the next one. Let's stop wasting time. I've been looking at this bottle for three months. Wanting to, I got another one at home, too. But I'm so excited. Do you want to keep this, Dan? Do you want to keep this? You don't like you it that much? You love it. No, I, I like it. After they try it, I want you to keep it. Because you're my oh, friend. What a guy. What a guy. <laughs> now, this is the creme brulee, or this what is, are they calling this it? This is vanilla caramel cream soda. Creme brulee. And look, there's a little cow with a torch. Super cute. Who let the cows out? Who? 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 Oh, that's oh, that's caramel. Oh my goodness! Ooh, it's even like a creamier color. Jeff, are you just that. straight up drinking beer right now? Because that's what it looks like, dude. Oh my god, this looks and smells delicious. Creme brulee, one of my favorite desserts. <sighs> if a restaurant has creme brulee, that is vile, by the way. I'm ordering Ooh. it. I oh, I'm texture, excited. The temperatures, the flavors. It's it's a delicious dessert. Jeff and I once wrote a song. Give me that. Creme brulee. Give me, give me that. Creme brulee. Yep. I forgot about that song. I remembered it now, though. Wow. That's that's really good. That tastes like creme brulee. It even has like, it has what, I hate to always bring this back. Coke Starlight. It has that like burnt taste. Yeah. There's it, this tastes like burnt, burnt sugar. sugar. Yeah. Oh my God. This it's is really, really good. good. It's like a vanilla cream caramel no dan i love you but i only got two bottles of this so i'm taking this with me no you can have some this you. reminds me of a girl that i nope. once knew nope uh it reminds me a little bit of the butter beer that i've had at the new york city harry potter store it does kind of have less a, less butterscotch it has a very like what even is butterscotch is it just a different way you make caramel yeah it's like a burnt sugar with cream added. so yeah that makes a lot of sense i don't know if i drink like a whole thing of this in one sitting. It is pretty strong, but it is, it's delicious. Very good. Very good. That though, that would I'll make, fuck up that whole bottle. Let's cross fingers, point at different sodas. That would make a really good float. Yeah. So what would this make? I've been trying to make a float, but I ran out of ice cream and I was sad. I just threw some ice cream. And out. then I went to the store to get some French vanilla and they didn't have any. So Ooh. I got caramel and I was like, I don't want to put it in there. Ooh, caramel with that. That though. Now I got ideas. <laughs> <laughs> and this, maybe if this is good, we could put in some chalky milk like we did in that ruin it. milk episode. No, remember the milk episode, the orange soda and the, I haven't even had it yet. And I'm having oh, ideas. chocolate milk. I chalky thought you meant milk. chalky milk. No, chalky. Like the milk that you drank and no, puked. No, no, no. Mm. Drink it up, dad. <laughs> Jimmy, can you toss me the paper towels? <laughs> Little paper towels? Come on, Jim. I don't have all day. Margin. <laughs> he almost broke his camera. <laughs> Holy shit! Uh, I just got lightheaded. I laughed so hard. Oh my god! I just want to wipe this out a little bit because yeah, it's going to be just, orangey. Um, you have to use two sheets. I pay for those, you know. Get in there. Get in that glass, so see. <laughs> What if it just shattered and your fucking hands comes out with shards of glass? In it? All right, Dan, pop it open, dude. Let's do it. Frost top, orange and cream. I'm interested to see if they can pull off a, a fruit flavor. I think they will. I don't know, Jeff. We're gonna find out. That sounds like we're, when you're trying to hold it a poop, real slow. <laughs> you, you don't want to fart. When you have to fart, fart it works. You're like. <laughs> Very orange colored. Not much head. Not as much head as these. 
So they do do something. What do do? <laughs> what do you think they do to get it all heady? I don't know. Ooh, that smells creamy. This reminds me of uh, what's the brand we get around here that does bottled like glass bottle? Thank you, Stewart's. Classical. Yeah, kind of does. Not as carbonated? No. Maybe that's why there's not as much head. So no head? Um, I don't love this. To me, it's good, the but problem it's... is in the orange. The orange is real fake tasting. It's, yeah. like, it's more like an orange popsicle yeah. than anything it, else. It does taste creamy. Um, I think that their strong point is the, the root, as we established. Um, still good. I don't dislike this at all. Stay to the root. The fruit's not for you, Frost Top. That, that would be my. I don't point. even know if they have these at the actual Frost Top. I'm not sure. I don't know. This is very good, though. Yeah, that's good. So, how would you uh, rate and rank these? I would rank them best to worst in this order. Really? Yeah. And I would rate them, drum roll, please. 10. Wow! 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 A ten from Dan. Nine. Oh, I disagree with you there. Six. I would say the same thing this way. This is this is an eleven. This is the best thing I've ever tasted. It's good, but I love it. Drink it from the bottle. No, it's your bottle. I have to drink it too. Um, yeah, this is very good, but it's like this is so pretty strong. Again, with the unique, it's not about what's unique. Or unique, not. it is unique. I've never seen a uh, unique creme brulee New soda. York. And look, even over here, you got the cow holding up a, a popsicle. I like that. I like <laughs> this cow. Yeah, I don't know what his name is. They have pictures of the orange creamsicle bar. I wonder if they sell those there. That'll be next time I go there. I'm gonna ask. I'll be like, give it to me now. Their food's probably not great. I don't. Know. It could be. Could be. Who could knows? be. I don't know. Get a West Virginia dog. Some slaw and some chili on there. Or sauce. Sorry, West Virginians. Sorry, Huntingtonians. That's the end, Dan. Like and subscribe. We got more roots and fruits in the future. And toots. All right, Jimmy, which one do you want to try first? Let's go orange first. Yeah. yeah. Let's get the orange out the way. Out of the way. We don't want it, but we will drink it because this is a soda show. I'm going to stop so pouring so much, you know. I like this. I like it, too. I like this. I like the creaminess of it. It's nice and creamy. Orange and cream. The cream, like, I feel like pops out. Yep. A lot more than I'm used to. It does, yeah. Root beer. I want to see the baseline. Mmm. That's really good. That's a good root beer. I like that. Yeah. Bam Mueller 2022. <laughs> I wow. really like that. Wow. Wow. That's really good. That's a good root beer. I like the comparison to mug or mug of beer. That really pops. Yeah. Really pops with the root beer flavor. Very balanced. Very good. Yeah. I would like that. That would be good in a float. I've been on a um, root beer float kit lately. Yeah? Yeah. I got a bunch of Stewart's, uh, which is a... I don't know if it's local or not, but it's a... Um, yeah. It's a root beer that we can get in our stores. And um, I got it because it was on sale. And I thought my partner, Kira, really liked that because they mentioned that they liked um, Stewart's. And I was like, oh, cool. But they like grape soda, not root beer. <laughs> so I was like, well, I have a lot of root beer now. Yeah. So I was like, oh, it would be good for a root beer float. And it was. Ooh, very caramelly. Oh, yeah. I'm getting the butterbeer. Oh, I like that a lot. Yeah, it tastes like butterbeer. Actually, like this, this tastes a lot. If I didn't know, like if you just gave me this instead of yeah. butterbeer, you would just say I'm not butter sure beer. I would know the difference. I think it tastes better than butterbeer. Um, I'm not a fan of butterbeer. I've tried it several times. And I don't like it. Um, but this Damn. is quite good. I'm going to bring some of this home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's good. Another one. Another one. More soda. Drink more. Stop drinking. Don't stop. 